morning, everyone, and welcome to such a remarkable occasion. Um, Skip, just as you said, did you read my notes? I'm going to ask you the same thing. But there's going to be a common theme that comes through this, and that is about a man who is dedicated to serving his fellow human being. With that, Ms. Portia, thank you for allowing him to do that. It, it, it is, it, it takes an awful lot to sacrifice and work on this place. Colonel Voyshev was a remarkable man in the sense that, as you have heard, he didn't, he didn't just love you, he served you. His time in the Army, his time leading a city, and his time after that being an advocate for the men and women that have defended this country. Our men and women quite candidly, that, that are willing to put their lives on the line every single day, deserve the best health care anywhere in the world. And in order to do that, you have to have a world-class facility. And what we have here behind us is just that, is a world-class facility. And another word of thanks should go out to the men and women that are going to work in this facility. They work every single day to serve the men and women of this community that have worked to keep our nation free. McDonough, thank you for, for being here as well. It is truly an honor to have you in our community, and it is really a big statement for you to come down here and point out what a remarkable facility this is. Thank you for all that you do on behalf of our veterans. Our men and women that serve many times face unique challenges, unique illnesses, unique injuries that the VA is quite candidly best equipped to deal with. Again, in order for the men and women that are going to take care of our service members to do that, it takes a tremendous effort not only from the Veterans Administration, but from this community as well, because it is a partnership. To have this opportunity to name this facility after a man who has done so much for this community and for this nation, it is truly an honor to be here and to be a part of it. So with that, I want to say thanks to all that are here. And I'd like to point out a special thanks to my colleague, Sanford Bishop. Um, Sanford and I, as you, as you know, are on different sides of the aisle, but we're very united in many things related to our state, and to this community, and to the men and women that serve this country. So Sanford, I would like to offer my thanks to you for what you have done to get this, to get this across the finish line and also to, to put sponsor the legislation to name this wonderful facility after the Bullshit. So thank you, Sanford, for that. <laughs> so today is just the beginning. We're going to cut a ribbon here today, but much work needs to be done. We don't just stop today. We need to continue to invest and advance in health care for our service members. So with that, I'm going to say thank you. What an honor and a privilege to be here to honor, to honor, honor Colonel Porter Shipley. Thank you.